This morning in Happening Here, if you're looking for something fun to do this weekend coming up, you can set sail with your entire family right over at the New Bedford Whaling Museum. They're hosting a Moby Dick Marathon and it's all free for you. So here to tell us all about it is our friend, President and CEO, Amanda McMullen. Thanks so much for being here. Good morning, Happy New Year. Happy Thanks New for having Year me. You. We were just saying this is the perfect experience to kick off the new year. Absolutely, it's great fun and it's fun for anyone. I say newborn to 90. There's something for everyone in this weekend. That's amazing. Yeah. So let's start with the Moby Dick yeah. Marathon. So it starts on Friday night. Yep, technically a dinner already sold out. But so if you want to come next year, <laughs> sign up early. Um, and then it kicks off with Saturday morning. Lots of great activities. We have the Melville Scholars, who are probably seven of the smartest people you'll ever meet in you your life. You were telling me about them They're amazing camera. university professors who are the experts in Melville. They are our partners in the whole weekend. Mm -hmm. So they have a fun um, role they play for the weekend. They read all the extracts. You can come in. Um, sit and have conversations with them. But we have a game show called Stump the Scholars on Saturday I morning. That is so much fun, so much fun. Um, and then we also have Little Whalers. So if you, you know, something for family and kids to do, yeah. come and have a story read to you, read to your kids. Let us help you take care of your kids on See? Saturday morning. I mean, come on, come moms on. and dads out there. Come We're on. gonna love that. And then we kick right off at high noon where we go into the full reading. And so the schedule for the full reading, I was looking at it before we came yeah. on the show today. It's, it's all online, very clear, so you can see exactly how it's going to run. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yep, high noon. I get up and just a quick welcome. I say, watchmen, give me eight bells, which is <laughs> the signal that, that it starts. Yes. We have tradition. It starts the same way. And then our opening reader, every year it's very exciting, is Michael Bobbitt, who is the mm -hmm. executive director of the Massachusetts Cultural Council, huge figure in, in um, our area for the creative and cultural industry. And he gets to say those three famous words, call me Ishmael. Mm -hmm. How right? amazing yeah. is that? It's great. He's been practicing, I know He's that. been practicing. Yep. And tell yep. me this, because as well, you know, the viewers might not know, why this weekend? Because obviously yeah. he set sail. Yeah, exactly. It's um, He set sail January, I think it's the third. Don't mm -hmm. quote me on that, but it's early January, early January. 1841. Unbelievable. Um, and then um, was was on a whaling ship and on a whaling journey and chronicled it and then released um, Moby Dick in 1851. So 10 years <sighs> later, he wrote it. So we try to line up this weekend as close to his original sailing date. I love that. Very it just cool. seems like an amazing, amazing weekend. So make yeah. sure you take part in that. But this isn't the only thing going on in January. You have a lot of other things going on Tons. as well. Yeah, no, the museum's always got new exhibits, always got great programs. Um, we're opening up, uh, we, we already have opened Roy Rosso, The Stars That Guide Us, which he's a local artist in New Bedford beautiful beautiful nighttime scenes of yeah the, you said it the, was incredible well it's up there they glisten they're the most beautiful paintings and he's a local artist so it's fun to celebrate him and then in january we open up with a show um framing the domestic sea which is a photographer named jeffrey beckton who's mm -hmm. out of maine who does these gorgeous photo collages of Ugh. old historic homes that actually are are layered with scenes of kind of um uh water and the ocean basically blowing through a house. Unbelievable. We have some pictures yeah, going crazy. on behind us too. They're They're huge. They're magnificent. Oh my God. And they tell quite a story in terms of climate and being sort of a coastal town. That's amazing. Yeah. And that's all yeah. going on in January as well. Yep. But I do want to point out too, you said there's going to be a lot of like soups and brews going on as well this oh, weekend. Oh yeah, for the whole weekend. And it's free. Everything is free. We make it all accessible um, and enjoyable for everybody. Blount Seafoods will be there. Lots of the local New Bedford restaurants. There's delicious food. Ugh. Um, on Sunday morning, malasada, so we bring in the Portuguese tradition and yes. some coffee. You can come at sunrise. People will stay overnight. We'll have probably a couple thousand through the whole weekend. That's unbelievable. We'll have a couple hundred that sleep in the museum. No way. Yeah, you can and do read that. the story the whole, like all through the night. 25, 20, 25 hour reading. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and fun. also, too, we have some merch over here, yep. which you can also get we right at the store. Whip. We have you a great have store, a great and store. you can get this online. And this stuff is like, look at this hat. <laughs> look at a cute little whale on this hat. That's adorable. I love it. Amanda, thank you so much thank for coming you. in. Thanks what a so great, much. great, great weekend. And we have all the information, not only for the Moby Dick Marathon, but everything else going on as well at the New Bedford Whaling Museum right over at roadshow.com.